Florida, summer, hotter than a jalapeno eating contest in a sauna, perfect for a BBQ heist? In this case, yes, meet our heroes, if you can call them that. Bubba, Cletus, and Darcy, three friends, united by a love of BBQ and a chronic lack of common sense. Now, most folks celebrate summer with sunshine and sweet tea. Not our boys. They were on a mission, a mission for meat. Specifically, Mr. Bigglesworth's award-winning slow-smoked brisket. Why? Because nothing says summer fun like potential jail time for pilfering prize-winning pork, right? Of course, like all good bad plans, this one was foolproof. At least that's what they told themselves between burps and bites of gas station hot dogs. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, just wait. The comedy gods were about to marinate these meatheads in a big old vat of karma. The planning stage was a thing of beauty. Think Ocean's Eleven meets a dumpster fire at a rib cook-off. Maps were drawn on napkins, promptly smeared with BBQ sauce. Walkie-talkie codenames were chosen. Bubba was rib tickler, naturally. Cletus, okay, threw a mouthful of potato salad, we need a distraction. Darcy, we could set his prize-winning petunia collection on fire. Bubba, why don't we just ask him for some brisket he always shares at the cook-off. Cletus, dude, shaking his head, where's your sense of adventure? Thus the plan in all its glory, or lack thereof, was hatched. It was go time. Night fell. Crickets chirped. Somewhere, a dog barked. Our heroes, clad in black and smelling faintly of BBQ sauce, crept towards Mr. Bigglesworth's backyard. Cletus, remember, whispered, his voice trembling with excitement or possibly indigestion. The plan? Darcy, little help here? He hissed, attempting to climb over the fence and getting stuck. Bubba, dude, just grab the brisket and go! His muffled voice echoed through the phone, straight into the ear of a very confused 911 operator after accidentally hitting the green phone icon with the word mom underneath it on his phone instead of the flashlight. Is that BBQ sauce or blood? Moments later, the night was alive, not with the sounds of a successful heist, but with the wail of approaching sirens. Red and blue lights flashed, reflecting off the confused faces of our wannabe BBQ bandits. They found us, Darcy shrieked, still entangled in the fence. Cletus, ever the quick thinker, grabbed a handful of potato salad and flung it at the approaching officers. Take that, copper, he yelled, mistaking the potato salad for a weapon of mass distraction. Bubba, meanwhile, was still on the phone with his mom, trying to explain that no, he didn't need the police. He just needed help getting a really big brisket into the truck. The 911 operator, bless her patient soul, was starting to suspect she was dealing with something far more hilarious than criminal. The officers, initially wary of the flying potato salad, quickly realized they weren't dealing with hardened criminals, more like three stooges with a hankering for smoked meats. Is that BBQ sauce or blood? One officer whispered to another, eyeing the scene with a mixture of amusement and bewilderment. The aftermath was, shall we say, not pretty. Newspaper headlines screamed, butt dialing bandits busted, brisket burglars foiled by phone fiasco. The local news had a field day. Mr. Bigglesworth, ever the forgiving soul, and perhaps a little amused by the whole debacle, decided not to press charges. He did, however, ban the trio from participating in the annual BBQ cook-off for life. And so Bubba, Cletus, and Darcy learned a valuable lesson that summer. Crime doesn't pay, especially when your getaway plan involves a butt dial to 911. And maybe, just maybe, next time they craved BBQ, they'd just order takeout. The end or maybe just the beginning of their next misadventure. After all, it was Florida, and stranger things had happened, and probably involved alligators. But that's a story for another time.